content creators. They're often referred to as influencers. But I was thinking a lot about why that is and what that really means. And the first thing I thought of was this. It's oftentimes said that the f you become the five people you hang around with the most. Now, what exactly does that mean? If we think about that a bit, basically what it's saying is that the five people you are around with the most in your life end up forming in a way the person you become. And if we think about this a little bit, you can't really prevent that from happening. But it's good to be mindful of that because if you're aware of that, you mean more conscious people you're hanging around with. Now, what that doesn't mean is hang around with people that are the exact same as you because that's boring and that's bad for obvious reasons. What that does mean is keep in mind people who may not have similar goals as you as in, how do I put this? People that you think negatively affect you. That's the best way I could put it. If th if someone's negatively af negatively affecting you or is a negative person is the way you view them, it's not wise to hang around that person, especially if you don't want to become like that person. Now, if we take this a step further, I think this also applies to content creators or influencers. Now, some people, this might feel a bit weird because, well, it's not like you're talking on them. What are you saying? It's a parasocial relationship. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that, in a way, what really makes someone different when you talk to someone in person and you watch, if you talk to someone in person every single day compared to watching an influencer every single day, if you watch a certain influencer enough, I think they will begin to have an impression on you. Now, why do I say this? Why do I bring this up? It's important to be aware of this because then what all I'm saying is it's important to be mindful of what you're watching. Because at the end of the day, it's important to be the gatekeeper of your mind. Why? The mind is one of the most important things you have as a human being. At the end of the day, that's one of the things you really can control. And it's important to be the gatekeeper of your mind because at the end of the day, that really determines who you are and kind of determines the decisions you make. So if you're not actually aware of what you're letting in your mind, you can end up becoming a person you don't want to. And I think influencers contribute to this. And the thing is, it has nothing to do with whether or not they want to do it. It just happens. Just like if you hang around with a friend enough, you'll start to become like them. You're not going to be exactly them. They're just going to leave an impression on you. And it's something that just happens. It's not something you can control. And the better to come to terms with that, the better. Because if you try and go against and say, no, that won't happen to me, then it will happen and you're just blind to it. And that's not necessarily good at all. Because... Basically, effectively, what you're doing is you're blinding yourself to who you are. So then when problems occur, you won't know how to fix it because you don't know yourself that well. So you just start lying to yourself, which is never good. Never, Even if you lie to other people, it's a horrible lie to yourself because at the end of the day, that's the one person you could actually truly get to know. Because you can never truly know anybody. And... We all say that about influencers. Oh, well, you can never know what an influencer does. That's true. You can never truly know what an influencer is like outside of the screen. But that's true with anybody. You could have, a, there are people who have had friends for 15 years, whatever, that they had a side of them that they never knew about. This doesn't just apply to influencers. It applies to everybody. You can never truly know anybody except yourself. So... You're doing a huge disservice to yourself if you just ignore the kind of person you're becoming. What's better is if you're aware of this, what you can do is maybe there's a person you don't want to become as much, but you still like hanging around them. You can just not hang around them as much. 
And it's also good, again, it's good to have people that aren't like you because at the end of the day, it shapes you to become a better person because change usually is a good thing. Now, I'm not saying hanging around people that are completely like bad in a general sense because like but at the same time like I, I hope i'm making myself clear i'm not saying hanging around the same people i'm saying being mindful of who you hang around about and this includes influencers because at the end of the day although you're not talking to them you're hearing the way they speak and their attitude of mind and it's going to leave an impression on you so instead of saying, oh, that won't happen to me, it's better to under realize that it is happening to you. So what can you do about it? You can understand that. So when you act a certain way, you can understand where it's coming from. And if you don't like it, you understand how you could change it. And part of that change would be hanging around with that person less or watching a certain content creator or influencer less. It's very easy to overlook the small things in your life and the things that you don't think really matter. And watching a certain influencer is one of those things where it can be very easy to overlook and be like, eh, why do I care if I watch this person? It doesn't matter. But it does because what I'm saying is it is leaving a impression on you. And there's no way to be 100% immune to it. Now, there are people who are more impressionable than others. Yes, of course there are. But at the same time, it's still leaving an impression on you no matter what. This video, I realize, is probably really short. And instead of just saying more, that's really all I really wanted to say. It wasn't really that much. So, just something to think about. That's really all this was. Just something, a five-minute thing to say, to think about for a little bit, and to be aware of. I hope all of you have a great day.